Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. One of my subscriber was asking me in comment, Aman, I don't find any good explanation for the Python implementation of recursive feature elimination. Can you create a video and show us how to implement RFE in Python? I thought, okay, let me do that. But before that, I also want my subscribers to be little different from data scientists with model.fit and model.predict skills. What is data scientist with model.fit and model.predict skills? There are few people in the market guys who just take some data, run dot fit in Python, run dot predict in Python and you know, they don't care about what is happening internally and they just get a output and talk about that. I don't want my subscribers to be that and hence before understanding RFE in Python, we will understand in detail what it does. Okay. So if you talk from implementation point of view, you just import RFE from sklearn. Okay. So you go and write from sklearn, give me RFE and in this RFE, which stands for recursive feature elimination, you give some inputs and you get the output. Before I show you that, let me explain you what it does step by step. So let's start guys. First of all, we will understand the meaning of these words. Okay. So meaning of recursive is something which we do in repetition or many times. Okay. To get different set of results. Many people with CS computer science background will be able to understand me more clearly. Recursion is a common terminology in CS background. Okay. Next thing is feature. All of us know what is a feature. Feature is nothing but in machine learning all the independent variable in supervised learning right are, are called features of the data all these are feature and this is your target column and elimination is nothing but eliminating features so what happens if you combine all these three by doing something repeated repetitively we are eliminating features from the data why do we do to, why do we need to do that guys so obviously we will start with many features right for example, this can be x1, this can be x2, it can go till x100, let's say. What we want to do is we want to use just the best minimal features for our machine learning model so that our model is not very complex. At the same time, model learns the pattern well from the data. So there is a very thin line between how many features we should use and how optimal model we should build. This is the technique where various this is the process where various feature detection techniques come into picture okay for example correlation matrix for example principal component analysis for example i was explaining about vif and these things all these things are handy when we talk about reducing our features but how rfe is different i will try to explain you with an example okay so rfe or recursive feature elimination is it will take just two arguments at high level. Okay. For example, if there is an input data, so there is a training data. This is your model training data. Okay. In this training data, you will have a target variable and few features like this. I give you this example. Okay. So this recursive feature elimination, if you call in sklearn or in general also, it is nothing but a wrapper. What that wrapper does is it will take two arguments. So I will just write here RFE two main arguments of RFEs. One is algorithm. Okay. Algorithm and another is number of features. Okay. Now let us say you call a RFE method on your training data and in this algorithm you say decision tree okay and in this feature you say four i am just taking two arguments algorithm what you are saying guys you are saying decision tree and features what you are saying four and you are calling the rfe method of sklearn the meaning of that is run a decision tree classifier on this training data and tell me which features which four features are most important for me Okay. Now, when I say most important, 
it will vary model to model or algorithm to algorithm for example if this is a random forest or decision tree model you will have a feature importance against all the feature you must agree with me if you run a random forest or decision tree you will have a feature importance you know some numbers assigned to all the features which feature is more important which feature is less important like that python gives you that automatically if you fit a linear regression model then what happens you have the coefficients some of the coefficients will be larger some of the coefficients will be smaller obviously the larger coefficients are more important which means the coefficient which is large the variable associated with that coefficient is more important okay so it will vary based on what algorithm you are giving and how many features you want based on these two this rfe will give you hey you know what these are the four important four most important features for you take it and train your model that is in nutshell what is recursive feature elimination how it works guys you take a training data in this training data let us say there are 10 features and one target okay total 11 columns 10 features one target column what will happen is if you give dt and 4 first a decision tree model will be fit using all these 10 features next iteration what will happen is it will see the importance of all those 10 features and remove one least important feature now here also there is one parameter that you can set we started with 10 features in the next iteration the model will again run on nine leftover features and in the next iteration the feature importance will again be calculated and least important one feature will be removed next iteration model will run on eight features which are left okay feature importance will again be calculated one least important feature will be taken out next iteration model will run on seven features feature importance will again be calculated and one least important feature will be taken out and so on and so forth till we reach up to four features now here i am removing one one feature guys okay there is a parameter which you can set in rfesk learn which tells you want to remove one feature in one shot or you want to remove certain percentage of features for example if i set that parameter as 0 0.2 it tells that remove 20 percent least important features in every iteration so how many will be removed after first iteration what is 20 percent of 10 2 so in next iteration only eight variables will go this is just one parameter that you can set in rfe okay the crux of rfe is take all variables run model see the importance of feature based on this parameter whether percentage removal or one one removal remove the feature take the remaining features run the model one more time see which features are least important remove run one more time and keep it doing until we reach how many features user want so in this case i am giving four features okay but one thing here is we always do not know in advance how many features we will need right so we cannot straight away say that we will need four features or five features or six features we don't know so there is one more layer advancement on top of rfe known as rfe with cross validation okay so that is known as rfe cv so what rfe cv does this is also available in python what rfe cv will do is it will just do a cross validation okay on your data with recursive feature elimination and tell you you know what you don't need to explicitly tell me how many features you want let me run a cross validation with rfe and give you these are n important features for your model and then you can take those features train your model and go ahead with your prediction so that is what is rfe nutshell guys i am knowingly not putting the python examples in this video because there are two three things i want to show you there in my next video i will show you how to implement plain rfe how to implement rfe cv in python with some data let me know in comments if you have any doubts and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet i'll come up with another interesting video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care